Hi guys, mabuhay and welcome to our YouTube channel, Planting with Epp and Grace. Another day, another plant to learn and discuss. Ito na naman ang inyong hardinerong kapitbahay na nagsasabing, tara, kwentuhan tayo. Every single day Hi guys, buhay and welcome. This is Ephraim. You're watching Planting with Ep and Grace. Now, one of the basic things kung bakit tayo nag-aalaga ng halaman is for us to relieve our stress and decide to that uh, binibigyan natin ang importansya yung mga, uh, mga may buhay sa ating paligid. And in return, they're also giving us some good and nice qualities uh, sa kayo ang mga magagandang mga bulaklak. And one example of that particular plant na ating inaalagaan usually ay ang atkatawag nating Alocasia cunculata. Okay? This plant. Okay? So, this plant is also known as the hooded dwarf elephant ear and Buddha's hand, Chinese taro, Chinese ape, and spear queen. Yeah, So, ito yung kanyang mga pangalan o makikilala natin siya with all those names. This is an origin of Southeast Asia, particularly this one is native to Thailand and Laos. Okay? So, the Alocasia cunculata is actually a rhizomatous type of uh, plant. Meron siyang tinatawag na rhizomes, kaya nga tinawag siyang Alocasia. Kasi it is a type of plant na meron siyang mga tinatawag natin, nating rhizomes doon sa ilalim. Kung saan, doon ang gagaling yung ating stems or yung ating fleshy stems which is a cylindrical lip stalk na yung kanyang dulo meron tayo dyan yung heart shape nating mga dahon which is quite glossy okay ito pag ito yung lumaki napakaganda nung kanyang college okay uh, similar to the ear ng ating tinatawag na mga elepante kaya nga tinawag nga rin siya na elephant's ear or dwarf elephant's ear so hindi ito yung lumalaking elephant's ear kaya nga Maganda siyang alagaan sa indoor plant. Lalo na kung siya ay marami. Or yung kanyang population ay medyo marami. And aside from that, madali din naman siyang mag-populate or dumami. Okay? Since na siya ay rhizomatous. Um, if you're going to look at that one, kung tatalikod natin yung ating halaman, prominent yung kanyang mga veins. Okay? So, um, aside from the glossy leaves na heart shape, yung kanya mga vein structure is actually quite prominent. That's make it one of the, syempre yung mga collector's item natin na tinatawag natin alokasya. Okay? So, this particular uh, plant is believed to be uh, giving um, good fortune. Kaya nga siya, sa kanyang native land, katulad ng Taiwan, uh, ng Thailand, at saka ng, ng Laos, um, kinikip siya sa mga Buddhist temple. Kaya maganda siyang, uh, it, it, it requires siguro, makikita natin parang uh, space at saka yung tranquility na tinatawag. So, uh, pag hinalo mo siya sa isang plant katulad ng uh, monstera, uh, monstera, nagiging mas maganda yung kanyang effect. Kumbaga. So, that is just one of the suggestions that siguro pwede natin tingnan. Okay. So, um, we're going to do some repotting. So, this particular plant, I think it is good for repotting kasi nga, lumalabas na yung kanyang mga roots. Okay? So, kanyang mga roots. And, aside from that, medyo, since na umulan, umaulan ngayong mga panahon ito, medyo nag, nagkaroon siya ng mga water. So, that's why we really have to uh, really remove the plastic para mabigyan natin ng freedom yung kanyang soil. So, the soil itself, as you can see here, is actually, papasin natin, yung mga soil type na nagbibigay ng moisture or yung nagko-contain ng, ng moisture. Pero hindi nagkaklag ng water. So, kaya nga, tinatanggal natin kasi the reason why we have to remove that uh, water or excess water kasi uh, para hindi mabulok yung kanyang mga ugat. Okay? So, katulad dito ugat na to, 
So, kailangan na talaga or it requires primarily yung repotting purpose kasi lumalabas na siya doon sa ating pot, doon sa ating plastic bag. And bukod sa doon, yung kanyang uh, pinaka-roots, doon na siya kumakapit mismo sa buong uh, clumps ng ating uh, soil. Okay. So, what, uh, but before that, we have to consider also uh, na yung good drainage ng ating pot. So, dapat ay sigurado tayo na butas-butas or available yung holes dun sa ating pot. Okay? So, the soil mix that I'm going to use is actually um, this one. Yung katulad ng soil mix na ginamit natin or ginamit ng ating uh, dun sa ating mga garden. So, this one. Okay? So, this is actually a combination of yung ating rice hull tapos may konting loam soil at saka may coco choir. Okay? So, I think that will be a good kind of media para sa ating plants. Para magkaroon siya ng magandang moisture. So, in this particular time, hindi ko na siya dinidelay actually. The reason behind that is eh, matubig na nga siya. Kaya, hindi na kailangan natin siyang lagyan ng or diligan pa. Or else, mabubulok yung kanyang pinaka- rhizome o yung pinaka um, parang yung pinaka puno ng ugat niya. Okay? So yan. So I think dadagdagan lang natin ng konti para magkaroon ng space yung ating ugat. Tapos ilalagay na natin si si uh, alocasia cuculata. Okay? Kailan pa natin ng, ng konting soil sa paligid. Okay? Just to make some control that particular plant. Okay. What is nice about this plant kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, maganda siyang ihalo, especially kung ang inyong team ng bahay ninyo ay gusto nyo medyo tranquil o kaya naman ay peaceful. Kasi with a 28 hours work sa inyong bahay, tapos kayo ay uuwi, tapos makikita nyo magulo, well, I think makakatulong kung you are going to keep some of this kind of plant sa inyong bahay para medyo ma-relax naman kayo kahit pa paano. That's the reason siguro kung bakit yung mga Buddhist temple, they're also keeping this kind of um, plants. Now, if you're able to notice also yung direction ng ating dahon. The reason behind this is kasi hinahabol niya yung shade. Okay? Yung ating light. Pero actually, when we put this one, siguro sa uh, pag nirotate natin siya sa, sa bahay o sa loob ng bahay, magkakaroon naman siya ng equal um, light source. So, tatayo din naman siya. So, wala tayong problema regarding with that. So, if you're going to notice here, nagliba ko ng konting space. Uh, hindi ko siya pinulo. The reason behind that is para hindi, pag tayo nagtilig, hindi siya matapon or uh, mag, ano, uh, mag spill yung mga, uh, mga tubig. Okay. So, um, in terms of the oh, that, in terms of the light, okay, yung light niya, uh, I think uh, light, uh, this particular plant requires bright light condition up to partial light shade. Okay? Kaya siya magandang ilagay sa ating shade, sa ating indoor plant. Or we consider natin siya as part of the indoor plant. Um, well, we have to avoid putting this one in direct sunlight kasi medyo nagkakaroon siya ng damage sa kanyang dahon. Okay. Water, um, we don't have to water this particular alocasia, especially kung yan ay umuulan or, na, or na, lalagyan siya ng maraming tubig. As I told you a while ago, na pag nag-clog siya ng water, the tendency of this particular plant ay mag yung kanyang rhizomes. Um, temperature it needs, pwede pwede natin siya keep kasi nga 18 to 22 degrees Celsius nasa loob ng bahay, kayang-kaya niyang i-maintain. So, medyo quite warm pero hindi naman masyado mainit at hindi naman masyado malamig. Humidity, this plant since it is an alocasia, it needs a moist environment with above average humidity. Okay? So, yung iba, ang ginagawa nila, in order for them to increase the humidity, nilalagyan nila ng pebbles yung ilalim nito. Mayroon silang basin, may pebbles doon. Tapos nilalagyan nila ng water just to increase the humidity of the surrounding of this particular plant. Okay, so next one. Um, we have, uh, we about the fertilizer. So we really need to put some fertilizer on this particular plant. 
siguro uh, once a month during its growing season. So ito, um, siguro lalaki pa to, syempre, lalaki pa to. And I think um, magandang ilagyan siya ng fertilizer. Slow release fertilizer, yes. But especially, magandang lagyan ng fertilizer ito, yung mataas na composition ng nitrogen. Okay? Yung mga urea. Yan, pwede yan dito. Now, this plant also enters yung tinatawag nating dormant stage. Kung saan, nalalagas yung kanyang dahon, nagda-dry yung kanyang dahon. Pero, um, in that case, huwag kayo matakot. The reason behind that, kasi pwede niyang i-renew yung kanyang mga colleges. Okay? Then, um, this one, this plant will reach up to 45 to 90 centimeters. So, medyo quite mataas siya ng konti, pero manageable naman siya. Um, pag nakuha natin yung condition na pwede, then you could get a good height for this particular plant. Now, how about the, to the toxicity? Well, definitely, this plant is quite harmful if eaten raw or medyo mali yung pagkakaluto ninyo. Pero in other countries in Southeast Asia, yung pinaka-corm niya o yung pinaka-rhizome niya, pag di niluluto, tapos kinakain lang. Pero, uh, take note na pag hindi tama yung pagkakaayos nito o pagkakaluto, there is a poison within with this particular plant. And skin, it can cause also skin and eye irritant. Once na napunta sa inyo yung kanyang mga sa. Okay. So, I think that's all for this one, uh, for this particular plant. And I think this will be part, or this will be a good addition to your garden or sa indoor planting nyo. You're watching Planting with F and Grace. Please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you may add to your list our FB page, si Maria Gracia at ang Lihim na Hardin. And also, shout out kay Drastic, one of my students. So, thank you and goodbye.